Ladies and gents, I am excited to come to you today. I'm going to be getting ready for a date night. I also am doing this exciting campaign for Marshalls. I'm super excited. So stay tuned. I'm going to do my hair and makeup on camera. So I may not be doing as much talking. We'll see. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So also I did get a new set of brushes on sale. These are the Color Rain, I think essential brushes, um, a whole set. So I'm going to be using majority of these, trying these out for the first time. So I'm gonna start using this one to do my eyebrows. I'm gonna use the eyebrow pomade and then I'm gonna clean it up with some concealer. So first thing I like to do is just brush my eyebrow hair up. Now, the thing with the pomade is that it does not have to be perfect when you're filling it in. I mean, you want it pretty close to right, but you're going to do some cleanup with the concealer. So anything that doesn't look right at that time, you can fix and you can always erase. a lighter concealer towards the end and then I'll do a concealer that's closer to my skin tone in the front so truly you just are tracing the outline that you did with the pomade or if you use pencil I think that's what I wanted to use pencil I forgot I wanted to use pencil but it's all good Okay, so let's get into the eyes. So for the eyes, and just overall, I want to do like a bronzy brown um, look. I think that will go with my outfit. So I'm going to probably be minimal on the eyeshadow. Well, not minimal, but as far as using a bunch of colors. So I'm just going to use this ColourPop concealer as the eyeshadow base. And then while I do my makeup, I do want to talk a little bit about what's going on. Nothing crazy, but I have been posting a few videos here on YouTube. Not too many views, nothing crazy. I have been mainly focusing on putting content on Instagram and I got a little traction, nothing crazy. And then just for kicks, I was also posting it on my personal Facebook page because I have you know family that uses facebook more than they use instagram and so i'm like well you know at least the content will be up there for them to see as well i think it might even be my aunt like oh yeah i want to see such and such so i will also post my videos there so i had a few videos that i had posted in november and all of a sudden last week they were getting all these views I'm not sure what was going on. I still don't know exactly exactly why. Um, but because it was getting so many views, I also was getting all these random comments. And I guess it's, you know, stuff that people who have a large following probably experience or I guess maybe celebrities experience. Well, as far as me doing content, I've never had anything go viral so I guess you can say that those videos are going viral on Facebook I don't know who's viewing them but I can see that you know it's getting a lot of views and comments so more so views but anyway there is an influx of comments of people being uh, negative obviously um, and I know sometimes when you start talking about negative comments, people are like, oh, don't focus on those. Don't pay attention to those. It's like, well, I'm going in the video to respond to usually what I think are questions, right? So I'm going to look at the comments, not because I'm looking, you know, trying to overanalyze it. But if someone writes something, your first thought is they have a question or they have some type of comment. And of course, you want to be responsive. So I'm going to look. It's not like I'm going to ignore it. But then I see these comments about 
oh, you should have done your hair this way. <laughs> you should have put more gel in your hair. And it just started to stand out to me that it might be like a texturism thing. Because I have 4C hair. Like my hair is super thick. Always been thick to the point that, you know, I even used to get made fun of as a kid. I would go to the salon and the people in the salon would just act like, you know, it was so difficult to do my hair and charge me more if I'm going to get it braided, you know, like, oh, your hair is so thick. I'm like, yeah, I guess, I guess so, you know, to the point where you may not even feel like anything's going on with your hair, but you keep getting those comments. So I'm going to take this uh, pressed powder from Makeup Revolution and I'm going to put that at the top of my eyes just to keep that concealer in place. But yeah, so um, anyway, like I was saying, the comments to me were screaming texturism. And it stood out to me because I was watching this other girl's video on TikTok. And she was pointing out um, this clip where someone said they wanted uh, models to braid their hair, but they wanted them to have good texture or good hair. And it's like, okay, well, what is good hair? And, you know, she basically was saying that, you know, she's tired of kind of like the discrimination and only seeing people with loose curls as far as like advertisements or, you know, uh, hair content online for natural hair. Because everyone's hair does not look that way. Everyone's hair is not loose curl and there's going to be some 4C people and I happen to be one of those. But anyway... On the, the videos, they're more so like saying, oh, you should have gelled your hair down. So in one video, I didn't actually put any gel in my hair. So I was just recreating a Kim Kardashian look. And that probably is part of it because I guess they thought once I was done, I was going to look like Kim Kardashian. But no, like <laughs> that wasn't the goal. I just liked her makeup for Nicole Richie's wedding and the hairstyle. So it's just like, a look inspired by that look it's not like when i was done i was going to look like kim kardashian because that wasn't the goal i just like the look and so no i did straighten my hair but i did not put any gel in my hair because number one i don't put a lot of gel in my hair because if it's water-based all my hair is going to do is curl up it's not going to be straight when i'm done with it and I also wasn't leaving my hair like that. <laughs> I'm like, and these people are going in like seeming like they're super upset about, oh no, you cannot do that. I'm like, um, and they even write comments like, no, she didn't. Like, no, I didn't. What? Just have fun and be a creative. So that anyway was very interesting to me. I've not ever dealt with that I have seen it just from taking in other people's con content and thinking like what is that what makes someone stop in their tracks and write those random comments that are not uh, constructive criticism because that's what my husband was telling me he's like well it's just constructive criticism I'm like why is it that every time someone says something negative people say is constructive criticism just to say like people can say negative things and you just have to take it well it's like no anything anyone says to me I'm going to put it up against logic and if it's not logical to me I'm not going to take it in so it's not constructive if it's not actually true but anyway I just wanted to share that with you guys I am going to go ahead and do my eyeliner I need to concentrate <laughs> on this part so I will be back shortly so let's try to get through this a face because I still need to do my hair and yeah put my clothes on so I'm going to use this born to glow I'm going to put a little bit on that on my face before I put any foundation our concealer on to get my little 
glow that I was talking about. That's probably more than I wanted to put on. But it's all good. So I'm just going to put it in the places where I would highlight. I'm going to go in with the concealers that I like to use. I use a few different colors to make everything kind of blend. So I'm going to start with this e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer in Deep Cinnamon. And I'm just going to put this in my dark spots under my eye and on the side of my face. I just do this for extra coverage because really unless you're using a full coverage foundation you're still gonna see your spots and I feel like when I not even I feel like whenever I do this method I don't have to use as much foundation sometimes I don't even really use any foundation and I'm also just experimenting with not putting any foundation really on my forehead just kind of whatever is left over on the sponge putting that on my forehead and then just some concealer now I do have on strips to lay my hair down so I'm just moving those back so I can get to my forehead and then I'm gonna go in with a brightening concealer I'm gonna use elf hydrating again and then I'm gonna go on top of that with color pop So for a foundation, I'm going to use one of the samples that I got from Sephora. I'm going to use the NARS. I forget which NARS type of foundation it is. let's get into this hairstyle so you're going to braid a braiding hair and you're gonna do two twists one braid and two twists you're gonna take the braid and you're gonna attach it to your last bun also but what I did off camera is I slicked down my hair in four different sections and put the hair in buns make sure the buns are flat as possible because the flatter they are the easier the braid will attach to the bun so you're going to take your braid, you're going to attach it to the back, and then you're just going to go bun by bun and take bobby pins and begin to attach the braid to your buns. You're going to have the very end of the braid is going to meet the front of your buns. So before you finish attaching the braid, make sure you wrap your two twists on the very first bun and then go in and pin your braid. So then this part, you're going to start wrapping your twists and you're gonna wrap them freehand. What I did is I had a bigger twist. Um, one was bigger than the other and I used that to frame my face. And then I used the smaller twist to go in and just fill in that gap. And you're gonna pin just freehand. There's no rhyme or reason to it. So have fun with this part and just pin for your life is basically what I can say. And then even after I finished pinning the front part, I went back and did some pins in the back just to make sure everything felt secure and nothing was out of place. So you'll see me kind of pinning here and just going and figuring out little spots where I can make sure everything is super secure. This, you guys, took me maybe 15 minutes to put together. Okay, and that is the finished hairstyle. I'm going to do a 360 and then I'm going to go put my clothes on and I will be back. I am all done up. I am doing a fun little project with Marshall so I'll be sure to um, link down below once I actually complete it. So um, look out, look forward to that and yeah. Let me know what you guys want to see next time. Make sure you subscribe so you can see more hair and makeup content. Of course, let me know what you guys want to see. Follow me on social media, be on beat underscore on Instagram and TikTok. 
Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.